Welcome back, everybody, to Ravenhurst. I'm an old guy gaming, and I've got some fantastic news. I have maxed out my mining tools skill. So we are at level 100 in mining tools. And uh, I've been sitting on these two points for the last level in Fortitude, but because we hit this, I'm going to go ahead and actually spend this point on advanced tools, which allows us to make the aluminum pickaxe. So uh, I'm already able to two-shot stone, which has uh, sped up, you know, the mining process um, significantly for me. Um, and I've just, I got such an, an overflow of, you know, of resources that I'm kind of putting it everywhere. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to open up some space in our little pool house and put some more stuff in there. I've even been putting stuff in the drop boxes here, which I'm going to do again, um, just to, again, free some space here. So... Uh, let's put that stuff in there and what we're going to do is get this concrete going. I have um, almost 1500 limestone, which is really good. Um, so I'm just, you know, as soon as I fill up my, uh, my encumbrance fills up, I just come up here and throw more in. Um, let's also move most of this stone out of here too. Uh, okay, so let's put uh, uh, more, well, I guess we don't have more, any more room in there, uh, but we have room in here. So let's throw all this stone in here. And, you know, I'm just, I, I am 110% focused on getting that horde based on, so I'm, I'm just not doing anything else that I don't absolutely have to do right at the moment. So that's why stuff is kind of all over the place. Uh, but we definitely, it's going to behoove me to stop and and get these uh you know get the aluminum pick made and i and, and now that i don't need mining tool skill anymore i might make an auger because i'll be able to make a really high level one and do a comparison once again and just see the problem with the auger though is it requires gas and gas is not easy to come by uh in quantity in ravenhurst um I, i've been able to keep on top of it for my vehicles but uh yeah it's, it's a challenge and it's mostly it's not even the oil shale it's the freaking uh these things getting the, the empty gas cans so uh anyway all right let's uh let's do this let's pull this murky water out uh we'll grab this stone and some sand and a bunch of cement and let's go ahead and um put this here too so we can make a total of 50 so we'll do 25 in each okay and, and we already have um that made up so let's put this stuff back in here for now. Oh, wait a minute. We still have more of this. So what did we go short on? We can actually make more. I'm not sure what we went short on. So let's just... Yeah, we make another nine. So let's make five more in here. And four more in here. That should... Yeah, that uses up all the limestone. You have to have a minimum of 25 limestone. Uh, we just want to max that out. Uh, okay, so let's put the specialty ores in here. Uh, they won't fit, so you know what? I'm going to pull all of this clay back out of here because clay normally wouldn't belong in here. And we'll put the specialty ores in. Uh, I've been feeding more clay into here. And we need to keep feeding iron into here. I think we'll be okay on steel, but I just want to make sure that we're going to be okay on steel. And we'll keep cranking that out. This guy, what are you working on? You got a pretty good amount of clay. Uh, you made some screws for me. Okay, let's let's keep feeding. I'm gonna start. Nah, we don't need lead right now. Let's just keep feeding iron into here too, in case we end up needing a few more rebar. Um, rebar. I think we have plenty to finish the job, but again, we'll just play it safe here. I haven't taken the time yet to go out and check my iron spikes, but they are doing a fantastic job of keeping the screamers and the other zombies at bay. So, you know, I don't have to deal with it all of the time. I just go out there um, and, you know, brush things up, do some repairs every once in a while and not really worry too much about it. So that's worked out much, much better than, you know, the shotgun turrets uh, that I attempted to do. Okay, so let's just go out here and throw this extra clay in here. It's mostly stone that I have such a surplus of, but I have a pretty big surplus of uh, lead, lead, clay, and stone. Those are the two big things. And again, I, I can make pallets for that stuff. I just haven't had time to do it. So I'll worry about that after we get the horde base all set up. Okay. So something's getting banged on over here. Let's just go look really quick. 
it's not a, a screamer, so. Oh, yeah, sometimes they get up on top here. And, um. You know, I got to do something about that, too. But I just, like I said, it's not high priority right at the moment. Most of the time they don't, but occasionally they do. So whatever damage that guy was doing, it doesn't look super major, so I'm not going to worry about it right now. Okay, so aluminum pick. Let's check this out. To make this, we need aluminum uh, pickaxe tool head, uh, which is this. And that means we need 20 forged aluminum. To make forged aluminum, we need aluminum. What do you know? So let's take this aluminum and uh yeah put it in here in place of the iron i just want to get it going quickly actually yeah here let's do this differently my my brain's not thinking correctly right now so what else is new right okay so let's just let that smelt for a little while and then we'll come back and make the 20 so we can do the handle now uh, oh, we're going to need, for the handle, uh, duct tape and leather and wood. Okay, so let's make this sturdy handle. All right, guys, I'm back. I had to, uh, actually had to leave in real life for a little bit. So let's see, uh, what did I do here? We got, um, I got 20 forged aluminum made up. I got all the parts for the uh, auger so what we're going to do is we're going to make the aluminum pick uh, I guess we have to make the pick head first so it only takes five seconds now uh, the way this apparently works from what I can tell is you have to get to here let's get the, the actual pick going it won't take that long I think the auger will probably take a little bit longer uh, so let's craft that first I don't think I can ever make anything higher than 901 but I mean that's that's pretty damn high. Um, and then let's get the auger going. That'll take a minute and four seconds. Okay. So the way this works from what I can tell is you have to first get to Mining Tools 100, like I've done, um, and then get Mine Tool Crafting up to five. That opens up the aluminum pick. Okay. And then the aluminum pickaxe will then give you access to chromium. And once you get chromium... Then you can make the chromium pickaxe. Um, why doesn't that show up? Oh, chrome pickaxe. And then once you get the chrome pickaxe, then that opens up tungsten. And the tungsten pickaxe is the best uh, one in the game. So the tungsten pickaxe is uh, grants more tungsten and is the best pickaxe with the most yields of all metals and stones. So I'm assuming that if we only need 20 of each of those ores, right? So to make the pick head. Yeah, so you only need 20 chrome for the chrome pick and 20 tungsten for the for the tungsten pick. Unless it's really super rare, this may be the only aluminum pickaxe that we'll actually have to make. I always get a kick out of this, too, because aluminum, as you all know, in real life is a softer metal than steel, but it's actually a better <laughs> pick in Raveners. But uh, I'm sure it's a game in engine limitation that they have to work with. OK, so what we're going to do uh, while we're waiting for, uh, you know, the rest of this concrete to finish, which is going to be done pretty soon, is we're going to do a comparison between these two picks. And they're all they're both going to have the same. Um, mo well, actually, they're not. I don't know. Can I put the diamond thingy on here? I can. Okay, so yeah, they they need to have the exact same mods on them. But actually, what I would actually put on the, um, the motor tool pickaxe is the mod. Where the hell is it at? This guy. So I guess as long as it doesn't change the block damage... Um, it shouldn't matter. So let's compare. So if we put all four of these on here, okay, that gives us a block damage of 41. Okay. If we took 
Uh, and I would like to keep the diamond tip mod on. Oh, you know what? We don't need an ergonomic on an auger. I don't think unless... Yeah, so it's still 41. Okay, good. So now let's see what these mods uh, look like on here. So in this case, we do want the ergonomic. Block damage is 146. Okay, but the auger is potentially going to be faster. Hmm, I don't know. But instead of puzzling over the numbers, let's just do an actual real time to test here. Um, I have a little bit of gasoline in, in the motorcycle. See, that's the biggest drawback to using the auger in Ravenhurst, and I already mentioned this earlier, is, is the gasoline. Because uh, it's just not as easy to come by as it is in vanilla. Okay, so let's put this stuff back away here. That can all go back in there. Um... We probably don't even need this. Uh, we we'll probably won't be able to fill the whole thing up. That's okay. We're just going to test it for now anyway. All right, let's go down into the mine here. And we're just going to test this out on stone. Stone's actually the most important resource for concrete because of the fact that it's where we get the limestone. And then, of course, everything else comes along with it, which is great. And, you know, if this aluminum pick gets us... See, that's the other thing. I don't think the auger's going to get us, like, the chromium and the other, the other stuff like that, right? So... That's another thing to consider, too. But it all comes down to efficiency, right? Efficiency. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to start with the aluminum uh, pickaxe. And I'm going to time myself for 30 seconds, okay? And we'll see, we'll see how, much, uh, how many materials we get in 30 seconds and also how much XP we get in that same amount of time, okay? So if we go to our dude, and we go to stats, we're at 63,099. I'm going to have to write this down. Okay, so um, we're going we're gonna to see how it affects XP, and we're going to see how it affects how many, many materials we get. Okay, so I'm going to get my phone here, and I'm going to, like I said, do this for... Uh, let's get the timer. You know what? Let's let's do it. We'll do it for one minute. Okay? So I'm going to start the timer as soon as the pick hits the stone. Now we have to factor in stamina. Too, because stamina matters with the pick. It doesn't matter with the auger. Of course, I would I would have myself buffed with, you know, black strap and all that, but let's just do a raw test here. Okay. So what I should have probably actually done is kept going and not waited for it to come back, but it probably will work itself out in the wash. So, yeah, when I run out this time, I'm just going to keep my finger on the mouse button. We'll just have to wait for the pause. Okay, there's the timer. All right, so let me uh, reset this. Okay, so we have, here, let's look at our XP first. So we're at 62,076. So let's see, that's three, that's two, that's one. So we got 1,023 XP in one minute of mining with the pick. Okay. Uh, did we get chrome? Yeah, we did. Oh, shoot. We got 43 pieces of chrome. I mean, this is literally the only time we'll ever use this aluminum pick. See, that's the other thing, too. I mean, we really, we should we should test the chrome and, and even the tungsten pick against the auger, too. But anyway, uh, the other thing we should look at, too, is how, how far did we get? Um... See, so we got this far with the pick in that amount of time. All right. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to we're going to mine right next to it with the pick. So let's uh, go modify here. And oh, I guess we have to take the stuff off of this guy first. So you know the auger. Yeah. Never mind. Okay. So we'll put we'll put this on the auger. 
Let's fill it up with fuel. Okay. So, uh, again, as soon as I push the button on the auger, I'm going to start the timer. Oh, wait. Uh, no, we already know what our XP is. Okay. All right, here we go. Timer. Okay. Um, the auger is clearly faster than the pick. Clearly. Um, we did not use any stamina using it uh, either. Okay. Um, I did. I screwed up though, and I didn't check. I didn't check the resources um, that we got for both of those. But we definitely proved that the auger is faster than the pick. So if speed is what you need to do, if you need to cut through something as quickly as possible, the auger is definitely better. Well, than the aluminum pick, anyways. Okay, um, let's take a look at XP, and then I'm going to have to redo this for, for the resources. I, I totally forgot to do that, but that's okay. Um, we need all the resources anyway, so it's not a waste of our time. All right, so let's take a look at our XP now. Uh, what am I looking at? I'm looking at this, and so we, ha we started with 62,076, and we now have 59,974. All right, so that's two zero one uh, two. Am I doing that right? No, I'm not doing that right. One, so eleven o two. So we got almost a hundred more XP. Yeah, we got almost a hundred more XP um using the auger so the auger is faster and in the same amount of time you get more xp from it okay uh then the aluminum pick now remember we, we really need to compare this to the tungsten pick once we get the tungsten pick okay i'm gonna have to do all this over um so what i'm gonna do is uh let's just put all of these resources in here for the time being Oh, we got some, oh, we, did we get that from the aluminum pick or from the auger? I don't know. Does it even tell us if the auger can get those high indoors? Rock out with your auger out and be the envy of every miner when they see you sporting a repair. Now, it doesn't say, it doesn't say. Okay, so let's get all ores and minerals and whatever out of our inventory. Okay, so we're going to do the same test again, but this time we're going to see, I'm going to go over a couple blocks. This time we're going to see what we get with um, uh, in the way of resources, okay? And keep in mind too that in reality I'm going to be have blackstrap coffee and I'm going to have a stamina buff with the pick. Uh, in fact, you know what? We could we could actually compare that. So why don't we? Why don't we? Um, because I'm I'm not ever going to mine not mine without those things. Did I just say that right? Never not, not, dip, dip, dip. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Okay. So we're, we're going to actually use the buffs this time. So we're going to take a mineral water for efficient digestion, which will then help um, our food to last longer. I guess that doesn't probably matter for this, but that's okay. We'll do it anyway. We're going to take a black strap and then we're going to try this again. Now this time we're mostly looking at resources that we get okay so as soon as the pick hits the rock i hit the button here we go this time i'm just going to keep my finger on the button and the black strap coffee is handling the the region timer okay so let's put all of the resources that we got. And we did we did actually get tungsten with the aluminum pick. Interesting. Okay. So we could theoretically go straight to the tungsten pick and not even use the chromium pick. Makes makes me wonder what the point is hey, in even having a chrome pick. We sh I, I would say we should not be able to get any of this at all until we make the chrome pick. Otherwise, why make it, right? But anyway, maybe I'm missing something. I don't know. These are the resources we got in one minute with the aluminum pick with stamina buffs. Okay. 
Now, let's go here. And we'll take all that stuff off. Go back to here. Uh, no, we don't need the ergonomic. Instead, we put the gas can mod on. Reload her up. Okay. And same thing. As soon as I hit the start the auger, we start the timer. Here we go. Oh shit, we hit metal. That's not fair. <laughs> okay, timer. All right, well, the auger still, even with metal, which takes longer, still um, outperformed the pick in terms of quantity mined. Uh, well, in terms of speed of, of mining, I guess. Um, in the amount of blocks that were, were, were removed, that's the way that I should really say that. Okay, so now um, we, we already... We already determined that the auger gets a tiny bit more XP. I wouldn't say that's a huge amount, but over time it could be. This is the real, uh, well, not the real test, but the other test. Which one got more resources, okay? So let's look at limestone. Limestone, we got more limestone with the pick than we did with the auger. That's huge for concrete. Nitrate, we got way more nitrate with the pick than we did with the auger. Stone, I don't give a shit about. That stuff's coming out my ears. Uh, but I, you, we can see that we didn't get enough, th this, uh, you know, the same amount of stone. Coal, we got 358, only 200. Okay, so it is pretty clear to me, you guys, that if you want speed and player XP, the auger is the way to go. If you want a maximum resources, the pick's the way to go. And remember, we still have the chrome and the tungsten pick that's even better than the aluminum pick. So what I'll do is I'll come back um, once we get the tungsten pick. I don't, I don't think I'm going to bother with the chrome pick. I mean, why should I, right? I think we're, gonna, we're just going to keep using the aluminum pick until we have enough tungsten to make a tungsten pick. And then we'll come back and do this comparison again with the auger and see. We know for sure the tungsten pick is going to outperform the auger in terms of materials, but... Um, will it also outperform it in terms of speed? My guess is probably not, but it could outperform it in terms of XP just because of the fact that, you know, it, it's going to be getting more resources. Okay, very cool. That was fun. Um, so, you know, auger is definitely worthwhile, um, you know, if speed's your thing. Uh, but if you want maximum resources, then, of course, uh, the pick is the way to go. And I, I don't see that changing, of course, once, you know, with the tungsten pick either. Okay, cool. So we got that done. Um, let's grab everything out of here except for the stone. In fact, here, I'm just going to grab it all. And then we're going, that's already full. And let's grab everything else too that's in here except for the stone. And then we'll put this stone in here. I was thinking at one point about maybe moving my uh, forges down here, and I still might. Uh, so that's why I put those there. But I, I don't know. I mean, the iron spikes are working so good that maybe we won't. All right. Let's spend the rest of today, day 111, uh, just going back. We're going to go back to the base, and we're going to see how far we can get upgraded with the concrete that we've made. We still have one more day, of course. I think we're going to be ready. I think we'll be okay. The only other real major structural thing that I need to do is put uh, an electric fence or two in, which doesn't isn't going to take long to do. All right, so let's grab all of the concrete that we have. Let's replenish the um, the iron in here for now. Whoop! What's going on? I don't know that we need we're going to need more aluminum at all for uh, unless we need it for other things. Okay, and we'll get another batch of forged steel going, and we'll pull this forged seal out. What were you working on? You were making more pipes. Okay, um, I'm not actually going to put some lead in here. We got so much lead. It's just, it's, it's, we got almost as much lead as we have stone. It's ridiculous. Well, maybe not quite that bad, but it's close. Let's put the extra lead out here for now. Um... That box is completely full, so we'll pop the lead in there. And uh, what else is in here? Oh, 
Yeah, we'll just leave that there. I'm, I'm a bit disorganized, but I'll fix all that stuff once we get the base all set up and ready to go. Okay, now um, I'm going to... Let's grab all this coal. I'm going to keep one stack of nitrate in here for other things that might need it. Let's put the specialty ores in here, including uh, now the tungsten. And we'll get some more gunpowder cooking up over here. All right, so let's see how much we need. We need 16 minutes of burn time. Okay, stick all this stuff back in here for now. Um, I'm slowly getting my pipe bombs built up too. We got lots of gunpowder. Uh, I'll... On day 112, I'll, I'll even make more, but um, I'm not going to worry about that right now. Okay, so this thing smelts so fast. It's a really nice problem to have, but it's kind of a problem just because <laughs> it run, half the time it runs, it doesn't. it's not doing anything because I'm not here to refill it. All right, um, let's get all this concrete out of here. Uh, we still have more limestone, so let's grab all the cement, all of the sand, all of the stone in that murky water. Do I have murky water in here too? I sure do. I just want to make sure we have enough to max out our stuff here. So let's do 11 in here and 10 in here. Did that use everything? Yeah. Has to be a minimum of 25. Okay, let's just put all this stuff back in here for now. And we got, that's a pretty decent, you know, amount of concrete there. Not too bad. And I think I have my rebar and all that other stuff in in the bike. Yeah, I got the rebar there and other stuff. Okay. All right, let's go back out to the base and just get as much upgrading done as we can. If we can get all the concrete work done today, then it'll be cured by tomorrow. And then, you know, upgrading to steel is, is easy because it doesn't have to cure. Well, this is going to be close. I mean, that's we still have a lot of concrete that needs to be upgraded. Don't start banging on my rebar, you dumbass. Okay. I want to grab... Uh, let's grab this and this and this and this out of here and that and those. We're going to need the nail gun. Uh, we might need that and that and maybe that. I'm going to hang on. To, uh, oh, and I need the door, too. Okay. So, um, let's come over here and um, start upgrading and getting the door on here. Okay. That's good for that. We got all these upgraded. Now what we want to do is put our door in place and get it upgraded. I might I might actually upgrade this to a steel door too, we'll see. Okay. Now, let's let's finish the explosion chamber here. Get out of here. I don't have time to mess with you right now. And get this upgraded too. Die already. Okay, so we have some rebars that got busted up by the zombos, so we gotta uh we'll have to repair a few of them too. But I think, yeah, we gotta do this here. Okay, let's start upgrading all of this. Excellent. Okay, so uh, I'm going to do the roof last. The roof is not absolutely essential for this design. So if we got into a situation where we couldn't finish the roof, we would be okay. I mean, I will do it, but um, it is not the priority. The chamber is the priority. 
All right, come over here, dude. Okay, now, um, I guess the next priority is really down here. So let's get this stuff done. Okay, let's take a look and see how much concrete we have left. Okay, so we, we can still do about 85 blocks. So let's get this done. Okay, that's done. Um, this we're going to upgrade to steel in a moment. Uh, what I think I want to do here is... Uh, I, I mean, I'm going to probably line this whole chamber, but it, that doesn't absolutely have to be done, uh, you know, by the Horde Knight. Let's put the steps in here and get those uh, in place. Okay, so we want the corner steps here, and then we want uh, these steps right here to go in there. Okay, and then when those cure, we'll, uh, we want this to be steel at least up to that point. Okay, how, how much steel do we have? Let's take a look. So I can do 52 more blocks. Let's hold, this isn't super essential for steel. The room up here is more important, so let's hold off on upgrading with more steel at this point. Okay, um, this part along here is not essential. Uh, but this is, because this is going to be our escape tunnel. So let's get this concreted up. Um, I might... Yeah, that's got to stay that way. Okay, so what we're going to do here, let's make sure nothing spawns in real close by, like that Nightwalker right there. We can handle him if it's just him. Okay, so let's do this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go uh, with the angled pieces. So this doesn't have to be... Uh, I'm only going to make this out of concrete. It doesn't have to be steel because it just has to last long enough and long enough for us to get through the door and get down uh, to bedrock. Oh, look at that. We ran out of concrete. Man, it goes by fast. Okay. I'm... I'm confident, though, that we've got everything upgraded to concrete that absolutely has to be concrete, you know, by the Horde Knight. This, I mean, I could pull these back out. We don't have to have them there. Um, So I'm not too worried about it. I will, of course, try and get as much of that done as I can. That doesn't even go there. I just had those there for a temporary ladder. Um, And then, of course, again, the roof. We don't need the roof. I will get it done as soon as I can, but if we don't get to it by the Horde Knight, uh, we should be okay. So now we just really need to wait for stuff to cure, and I want I want the whole middle row to be steel for sure, and maybe even eventually polished steel. Uh, but for now, we're saving our polished steel for these, you know, these blocks here that are protecting us and might even do the lower ones, too. Unlike our other base, I don't have a double layer here, but I'm also not expecting it to get hit quite as much as the other base either uh, if things go according to plan. And even if it does, I mean, polished steel is strong as hell. This is 20,000 hit points, you guys. It's almost three times as strong as even just the normal steel, so... Yeah, I think we'll be in pretty good shape. All right, well, um, so it's kind of business as usual. I uh, just got to go keep mining like crazy and keep making concrete and keep making steel in order to uh, finish this up. But I'm confident that we'll be able to use this now uh, on Horde 1 to 12 because I think all of the real critical stuff is gonna is going to be ready, you know, when the time comes. So, okay, guys, well... Um, I'm not even sure where we're at on time <laughs> at this point. So I'm going to, I'm going to let you go here and, um, I will probably just finish the rest of this up off camera. It's mostly going to be just upgrading everything that you see here and putting some fence posts in, and then it should be ready to go. So most likely I won't see you again until Horde Night 112. 
All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.